Welcome everybody. Thanks for coming tonight. This is a very exciting topic. Turning your brain on to weight loss. <clears throat> I want to welcome, first of all, those who I've never met before. I'm very happy to have you here. I'm assuming you saw our ad in the paper, you heard about it through someone else. Um, we also have some loyal, faithful patients. We welcome you always. And we also have some people who are going to be watching online. That's why the video's here. And because of the video, and just because we want to kind of have this scripted, tonight I will not be taking questions in this class. However, I want to, I want to welcome you. At, at the end, you will have an opportunity to talk to both Jade and Katie to sign up for a, for a consult at the office, and you will be able to ask every question that you want to ask at that time. Okay? And so, again, welcome. Great quote. If you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to keep on getting what you've always got. Has anybody heard of that quote before? All right. <clears throat> you are the product of every health decision you've made until today. Can we agree on that? If you had it to do over again, would you do it differently? Most of us would, wouldn't we? We'd do something different. This man here, his name is Chris. He decided to do it all over again. He wanted to redo on his life. Here he is, um, left side picture, um, obviously very out of shape. He took a trip with his wife to China, and this was one of the pictures that was taken in China on the left. And like most of us, we don't really remember what we look like or how we feel. He was looking at slides afterwards, and he said to his wife, Lynn, is that me? She said, yes, honey, that's you. That's why we can't hike. That's why we can't bike. That's why we can't take the trips, take the walks, enjoy the things we want to do. He said, I'm going to do something about this. So he did. He chose to redo his life. And this is Chris today. What a great change. And I want you to know that this isn't just a willy-nilly, crazy decision he made to get slim. This was in 2011. I think you can see the date on the bottom part of the screen. And this is today. This changed within um, mostly two to three months. And he has kept most of that until today. Pretty nice, pretty nice testimonial. Here's another gentleman. His name is Jim. This slide tells you exactly what gets me excited. Okay. Jim was a 69-year-old male, 40 pounds overweight in the abdomen, history of increased lipids or fats, high blood pressure, stress, sleep apnea, fatigue, chronic neck, upper back, hip pain, chronic acid reflux. Does that describe anybody here? Right? Decrease of 29 pounds in 30 days. Not everybody loses it that fast. It's not important that you lose it that fast. It's important you lose it, all right? Blood pressure normalized in that time frame. I mean, this is big. This is what medical doctors crave to see change. This is big. Blood pressure normalized. Zero acid reflux. No more sec. Aches and pains gone. And now here's his blood work. Four months later, this was in 2010. So his total cholesterol was a real high number. You better believe he was going to be put on Lipitor if he wasn't already. 257, it dropped down to 187. Triglycerides went from 216 and went down to 80. Is that not beautiful? LDLs, the, the, the bad cholesterol, went from 169 to 121. HA1C, which is a which is a measure of blood sugar, went from 6.3 down to 5.3. The PSA, prostate-specific antigen, that's something that we men have to worry about. That dropped from 6.9 to 3.8. How's that? Those are beautiful numbers. Chris, I got the slide reversed. The gentleman that you saw on the slide before, in April 2011, this is I know this gentleman well because he's my next door neighbor. Okay. He had high cholesterol, elevated blood pressure, his thyroid was a, he was on thyroid medication, 
His prostate specific antigen was out of way out of touch, and he had terrible diabetes. The, the only medication, he was on medication for all these things. That's what I'm trying to say. He was on Lipitor, he was on blood pressure medicine, probably lisinopril, he was on levothyroxine, he was on a medication for his prostate specific antigen, and he was on a medication for his diabetes. At least one for each thing, probably two for a couple of those. So here's a man that's on, he lives daily on eight medications. Can I ask, if, is anybody doing that in here? Okay, all right. We don't have to, that's what I want you to know. You, the choice is yours, you can change that. So, Chris went from 250 pounds in April 2011. Um, I didn't show on his how quickly he lost it, but he actually lost it. The majority of it, he went down to about 205, um, actually 195 in two months. He, he did that quickly. 175 pounds today, he's the same as his high school weight. And he's stayed below 205 since 2011. That, to me, is the beauty of it. There are weight loss programs that you can lose weight on. Are there not? Right? And we've probably all done it. The key is, how can we change it and keep it there? And how can we be healthier on the other end? Does anybody know someone in here who's thin and unhealthy? Right? How about the coffee drinker and the smoker who is wired right to the hill? Skinny as a, as a rail, and they're very unhealthy. High blood pressure, um, probably get sick frequently. A lot of aches and pains because their body's so acidic and that's their life. How do we do this? Shape Reclaim is the name of this product. <clears throat> I want to stress that this is not just a weight loss program, okay? It's an intensive health program. The thing that got me juiced about this was the fact that it wasn't a weight loss program. I, I should have done a little research and counted and tried to figure out how many weight loss programs are out there, but there's, I mean, same, same number probably as religion, right? So, it's, it's a ton of weight loss out there. But the key is, are we healthy on the other side? That's the key. And can we stay there? Is there a means by which we can stay there? So, what we see with this over and over, and this is again why I get excited, is reduce cholesterol, reduce blood pressure, reduce things like prostate-specific antigen, decrease blood sugar, and decrease weight. The other thing that we get is we get a much improved pain and inflammation level. I love to tell a story about the older couple who I did not put through this, but my mentor did up in St. Louis. They were 90 years old. And he, this couple came to this doctor up in St. Louis and said, we want to do your, your program because we've heard it works and we've heard people are feeling better. He was really hesitant. He was really hesitant because it's a little bit like, you know, you're 90 years old, they weren't terribly unhealthy, and he didn't want to rock the boat. But he said, he relented, and he said, okay, I'm going to modify this for you, and let's see what happens. Two weeks later, the gentleman came in, and he said, doctor, I went up the stairs without using the railing last night. And the doctor said, well, that's nice, that's good, but maybe we should use the railing. The gentleman said, you don't understand. I haven't been up to the upstairs of my house in two years because of my knee pain. I haven't been able to get up there. So that's exciting. When you can take an, an itis, an inflammation, something that hurts, and you can take that person to that level without taking a Celebrex or, or an ibuprofen or some kind of an anti-inflammatory, that's exciting. So what I want you to know is how we eat affects how we feel. Results also show high energy, obviously, you get rid of all this junk, you lower your blood pressure, you balance out your blood sugar, you're going to have higher energy. That's a given. Um, increased range of motion and mobility, like I just mentioned, increased mental clarity and focus, and obviously many other things that are very difficult to really measure. So how do we get these results? We're not a one-size-fits-all wellness center, okay? 
we don't throw this program at you because the program that's going to work for you is not going to work for you. Or the program that works for you is not going to work for you. It needs to be very tailored. Every person has their own genetic fingerprint. Every person has their own set of health challenges. And so it's critical that a program like this be tailored to the individual person. Could we make a lot of money? Could we see a lot of people and have a lot of success just throwing at people, sending you on your way and letting you do it? We could. We could hit the masses. But we'd miss out on 20% of the population, maybe more. So it's critical to have a real successful program. You have to be able to customize it. Um, as I already mentioned, overweight is not healthy. We know that. But neither is thin always healthy either. Um, I can't believe the amount of time that I that I take in my practice. People come in and, and say, "Well, doctor, I'm, I I drink Diet Coke and I use Splenda, and that's all that's all good stuff, right?" But it isn't. Okay, it's very, very, it's very toxic. Yes, it says it may say low calorie, it may say diet, but it's not healthy. It's not. It's not natural. It's not meant for your body to process. So when you take something that's a like a saccharin or a something that's in Splendor or in a diet coke, it totally your body doesn't know how to handle it. Doesn't know how to affect it. So we're going to try to show a video. I have a, a uh, big apology to make. We neglected to bring um, a set of speakers, so it's going to be very soft. So what I'll try to do is summarize it at the end. You'll see the person, but listen really close. All right. Can you state your name and age, please? Yes. My name is Deborah, and I'm 37 years old. And what was your reason for doing this shape? Reclaim program? I have a past history of high cholesterol and heart problems within my family and exercise was just not helping to eliminate the fat that I was carrying in my upper body and so I needed to take another approach and so I decided to give this a try. What was your uh, cholesterol before going on shape? It was 207 which was not completely considered high. It was called hypercholesterol, mm -hmm. but they wanted me to get it down or I was going to have to go on to medication. I see. And how, how long did you do the Shape Reclaim program for? For 21 days. Okay. And what was your cholesterol after you completed it? 150. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so what, how many points is that? 57 point drop in my cholesterol. Great, great. Well, how, how would you say you're happy with your results? I've been very happy with them. I had lost some weight during it too, which wasn't my primary goal, but that's always a nice side effect. Yeah. <laughs> and um, but until I got the blood work done, I didn't really realize how much of an impact it had made. And once I got that back, I was just thrilled with the difference. Great. That had taken place. Wonderful. Well, hopefully we can help other people that also need to get that cholesterol down. Thank you so much, Deborah. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to summarize that. Did most people hear that or was it way over here? Did you all hear that okay? Did you hear it, yeah? Most of it. So Deborah is a patient who went to the doctor, didn't feel bad, but she went to the doctor for an annual check, and her cholesterol was 207 which in this day and age is considered hypercholesterol. Not on the verge of death or anything like that, but something that the doctor wanted to get her down and bring her into more of a normal range using a probably liver, liver compromising medication like Lipitor. Deborah didn't like that idea, so she came to me to see if there's anything we could do. We put her on the program, she went on for 21 days, her cholesterol went from 207 down to 150 in 21 days. 21 days, folks. That's remarkable. Okay? That is something that any medical doctor on the planet would be head over heels to be able to do without medication. This is big stuff. Okay? This changes people's lives. It gives them a second chance. All right? 
I'll talk to you about how this works, but this is a big deal. So what is Shape Reclaim? This is the name that's given to this product. It is a homeopathic formula, and one thing that should tell you is it's extremely safe. I don't know if any of you know about homeopathics, but they're, they're not herbs. Their homeopathy is a very, very safe way to handle your health. It uses a glycoprotein base, and all that means is it's a glucose molecule and a protein molecule. And it adds in a number of different things, products to help your, support your thyroid in the process, support muscle cramps, um, help with balancing blood sugar. It is a product that comes from 30 years of a, of a magna cum laude graduate, homeopathy experienced doctor. Okay? There's some power behind this. There's some punch behind this. This wasn't a willy-nilly product. This is something that has some value to it. Um, go ahead. It targets the hypothalamus. Okay, The hypothalamus is a very small part of the brain. That part of the brain is the only place in the whole body, to my understanding, where the nerves and the hormones talk to each other. Talk about a powerful place, right? Your endocrine system and your nervous system are communicating. Wow. Okay? Very big. So, it targets that. The endocrine system is obviously affected. The endocrine system, to give you an idea, the hypothalamus is the king, and it's sitting up here in your brain. The vice president is the pituitary gland, also sitting in the brain. The secretaries of state are the adrenal gland, the pancreas, the ovaries, or the testes, the, uh, did I say adrenal? Um, didn't even put adrenal up here, thyroid. So, very impacting place. Now, what I'll tell you is someone who works with a lot of nutrition. When you work with the endocrine system, you affect every system of the body. You can't help but do that when you work with the endocrine system. It's very, very effective. So by targeting the hypothalamus, we are making a profound change. It burns inflammatory fat. Okay, there, there's, I wouldn't say this is total science, but there's the belief that fat is in three different forms. There, there's a protective fat, and a supportive fat, and then an inflammatory fat. Typically when people go to lose weight, they don't lose the kind of fat they want to lose, all right? I would venture to say that most of you, if you were to eat the things you know to eat, cut back a little bit on your calories, you could probably lose a certain amount of weight. You'd ultimately hit a wall, but you could probably lose a certain amount of weight. We want to lose the right kind of weight. So how long do you do this program? Well, as, as little as 21 days, and the reason it's 21 days is because to make any lifestyle change, to make any long-lasting impact on your life, you need to do it for at least three weeks. Would you agree? Um, they say that to change a habit or to, to make a new habit, you need to do it over a month time. And what happens, it's very interesting what happens in this process, is that your brain learns how to cook the right kinds of food. You learn how to find foods that taste good, because three weeks isn't forever, but it's long enough for you to have to learn some things, and it's, it's great stuff. Here's another video, and again, I'll recap it at the end. All right, can you state your name and age, please? My name is Becky, I'm 61. And how long had you done the Shape Reclaimed program? Okay, I've done the uh, Shape now for three months. Um, and in that time, I have lost about 17 pounds. Um, prior to that time, I had a lot of stressors in my life, a lot of weight gain. Um, I had digestive issues, chronic um, bloating, and I had problems and was treated for candida yeast infections. I, I always felt lethargic, didn't sleep well. I had kind of just an overall just not feeling well. Mm -hmm. 
And so after taking it, most of those symptoms are greatly improved. Mm -hmm. Some of them are resolved. Um, I think the most significant change is just, um, besides feeling better about myself, is just an overall um, sense of well-being, of just feeling good. That's great. Great. Thank you so much. And you certainly, uh, I mean, you look better, but I feel like um, there's been a lot about you that has changed. Um, you, To me, I've seen you kind of progress in this um, not seeming as anxious and and uh, just being on top of things. So do you feel, how do you feel psychologically um, oh. Oh, that it's affected you? I, I feel so much better emotionally. Um, even those those stressors are still present in my life. I I just handle them so much better. I feel so much more energized and just ready to handle whatever comes my way. That's great. Thank you so much, Becky. So Becky was a little different scenario. And you'll notice that the two videos that I have are not really weight loss videos. I, I showed, um, in other words, they weren't people that had a lot of weight to lose. I showed those pictures earlier of people that were that were heavier who had a lot of weight to lose. So what I want to emphasize though is that it's not just for people who are really overweight who want to lose a lot of weight. It's for people who might want to lose 10 pounds. Becky was somebody who over the, the period of three weeks, excuse me, three months, correct? Three months, lost 17 pounds. So you might think, well that's not very good. But you have to understand that her objective was not weight loss. Her objective was to, to feel better. She did she wanted to lose a little bit. But she wanted to feel better, and we kind of have a joke at our office about Becky that when she came in, she was she just wasn't a real happy person. And, and quite honestly, I almost dreaded when she came in, and I, that's an awful thing to say, but she just was a little, there was just an edge to Becky. But I understood that it was coming from how she felt physically, right, and psychologically. So. It's amazing now, when she comes in, she was in the office the other day, she gave me a hug, she talked to the girls, had a great chat, she is thrilled, and, and I don't know if you got there, but, but when Jay was interviewing her, she asked her, she said, it seems like you feel different, you feel different psychologically, and, and that was, she said, absolutely. Um, and one thing she pointed out was that her stressors hadn't changed, life hadn't changed for her. She was still facing the same stressors. And I know a little bit about her situation. I can't go into that detail, but she definitely has them. A lot of family life stuff. And, uh, but she's dealing with it differently. And she's been able to, to pull herself back and be happy because she feels better. So these homeopathic drops, to get back to what the what product is itself, are they're accompanied by a reduced calorie, anti-inflammatory, immune-boosting diet. And I'll cover what that all includes. The biggest boost, I would say, for your success in a program like this is planning. There's a saying that says, nobody fails, nobody plans to fail. We just fail to plan. And that's ultimately what we see as the, if there is a failure rate, it comes from the failure in planning. So Shape Reclaimed, I want to cover what these things mean, Dr. Monitor, Anti-Inflammatory, Reduced Calorie, and Immune Enhancing. <clears throat> How do we mean by Dr. Monitor? Well, this is one big success factor of this program. Again, we don't just hand it to you, we monitor it. Okay? We monitor it using, for one thing, we use uh, urinalysis. And when we use it in urinalysis, <clears throat> what that tells us is several things. First of all, it might tell us not to put you on it right away. For example, if you're fighting a bladder infection, or if you are, um, trying to think of another example, if you're sick in, in some other way, maybe you're, we do some tests and your thyroid's really low. We work to bring you up. We work to get over the infection before we start you on the program because all of those things will sabotage uh, success. It will keep you from really being successful. Um, the urinalysis is, is just a beautiful tool that we can use because it'll tell us a couple things. It'll tell us, for one thing, whether you're cheating or not. We can see if you're burning fat. 
in your hair analysis. We can also see, believe it or not, if you have gone to the point of getting so excited about this program that you think you're going to just starve yourself. And then what happens is that you go into starvation mode, your body thinks you're in a concentration camp, you stop losing fat, you stop losing fat and you actually store fat. You hit a wall, you can't go any further. Okay? And you're madder than a wet hen. You come into the office and you say, Dr. Tompkins, J.D. and Katie, I'm not losing any weight. What's going on? This program's not working. We do a urinalysis, we try to calm the patient down, and we find out that there's protein in the urine, and we say, you know what, pat him on the back, go home and have a nice lean steak, or have a nice piece of chicken, and increase your protein intake. Okay. For some patients, it's doubling their protein intake. Do you think they put on more weight? They actually lose. So we look like geniuses because we tell them, go eat more, and they lose weight. This is the value of Dr. Monitor, because we can tell where you're at, where your body's at. Besides that, we, we customize the caloric intake to you. You know, there have been programs out there that have said, okay, you can only eat 500 calories, or you can only eat this much. That's absurd. I mean, is it really realistic to have somebody who weighs 40 pounds and wants to weigh 130? to be on the same diet as somebody who weighs 200 and wants to be 175 or 150. It's just not. And we all have very different metabolisms. So we customize that calorie intake. And we tweak, we have to tweak it at first, but we were able to do that with the help of the urinalysis. Besides all that, when you start this program, the first thing we do is we do a, a very thorough case history, we do a comprehensive exam, and then we, we do a report of findings of what we found. There are some people who we don't just, they're not, a, they're not a candidate for it right off the bat. We have to understand that. They're, they're not ready to just plunge into the program. But we can get you ready and get you there. But it's not just dropping in your lap. So what's anti-inflammatory mean? <coughs> what's an extra thing Tylenol? It's an anti-inflammatory, right? What's Celebrex? It's an anti-inflammatory. That's what the, the medical community advertises over and over on TV to make you feel good. In, inflammation, if you want to think about it this way, is really anything that's itis. It could be colitis in your large intestine. It could be arthritis in your joint, rheumatoid arthritis. It could be tendonitis in your tendons. It could be many, many itises. And it doesn't have to end with itis to be inflammatory. The, the general educated opinion is that when you get a disease or when you get an illness of some sort, it starts the seedbed for that illness, whether it's Alzheimer's disease, osteoporosis, whatever, the seedbed for that illness is in a, an acidic inflamed environment. So when you eat anti-inflammatory, that's very valuable. Um, during this, you eliminate processed sugars and you use more natural ones. You also avoid starchy foods and fats like breads, pastas, and cereals. I love this quote. God created food for human life. Man created food for shelf life. As an example, think about big companies like General Mills. All right, a hundred plus years ago, when our company, when our country became a more industrialized nation, we had to haul loaves of bread clear across the country, make them last on a store shelf a few days before Mrs. Jones bought it, and not spoil it. How do you do that with a fresh loaf of bread? Well, you have to totally manipulate that bread. So food became used for shelf life. My wife and I had the opportunity to live in Italy for a few months. And I'll tell you something that's very interesting. There's a lot of things that can be said about their lifestyle that's not healthy. A lot of them like to smoke. However, their refrigerator is about this big in most of their houses. And that's because they go frequently to the grocery store for fresh food. They don't buy food for shelf life like we do. So, reduced calorie, what do we mean by that? 
It's, this is not impossible. It's, well, I'm amazed, in fact, I, I tell a story about a man who was a weightlifter who came to me and did this. And I, it was when I first started using shape. I was really nervous, because here's this big bulky guy, and I'm thinking, oh no, I'm gonna put him on a reduced calorie diet. And he's gonna come to me, and he's gonna be whining and complaining because he's so hungry. I never heard a peep out of him. And, except for when he came in to do his urinalysis. And he felt great the whole time through. And the reason he did is because his blood sugar was balanced. It wasn't spiking and dropping and spiking and dropping because of too many sweets and starts with food. And even though he was eating foods that weren't high calories, they were nutrient dense. I have a question for you. If your body says, I want some vitamin C, and you eat fruit loops, does your body get vitamin C? No. So what's it say? Eat more, right? So you go back for more fruit loops. Many times our body is crying out for nutrients, not calories. But we feed it calories that are nutrient poor. So the foods that we're eating are they're not they're very tasty food that you're gonna actually get a chance to taste. Um, and you'll be you'll be surprised at the <coughs> So this would be a good time to actually pass around some chicken samples. This is chicken that's been grilled. It's been marinated in something called Bragg's liquid amino. It's a little bit like soy sauce, um, which is very usable on the program. Um, you can use foods like, you can use um, herbs like ginger and garlic. They're both anti-inflammatory and they're excellent marinades. Um, stevia as a sweetener works well. Um, there's a lot of options. What about some, someone who gets heartburn five or ten minutes after I eat anything with garlic? Then if you if you know that you have a sensitivity to garlic, then avoid it. But I would venture to say that there's a reason, there's a bigger reason than the garlic if you're getting heartburn. You would avoid it for, for a period of time until your stomach healed, until the gut lining healed. And then I, I would venture to say that you would probably be able to use garlic after that. So, why can't I just cut back? I get this question a lot. Why can't I just eat an anti-inflammatory diet, cut my calories back? It's a valid question. Why would you go on a program like this? Why can't you just do that? It's not apples for apples, that's what I'll tell you. Um, the magic, I hesitate to call it that, but there really is some magic in this. The magic is, is in the drops combined with the, the way you eat. The drops are doing something that if you don't do the drops, you'll lose weight to a certain point. In fact, the gentleman we started out with, Chris, my next door neighbor, on his own, he lost probably 20 pounds on his own before he ever complained to me talking over the fence. Only for him, he's from New Jersey, so it's over the fence. Um, he said, Wayne, I'm hitting the wall. I can't go any further. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm exercising. I'm doing all these things. I'm cutting back my calories. I can't budge. I said, come and see me. We need to talk. He had hit the proverbial wall. He had hit starvation mode, right? His body, hey, our body's wise. It's very wise. And so if it thinks we're in starvation mode, it's going to conserve that. What does enhanced immunity mean? Well, anytime you give your body a break from toxins, if you're not loading your system with dyes, pesticides, and herbicides, all the stuff that's out there, you're going to lower your immune burden. That's another way you lose fat is because many times we try to lose fat, but toxins are in our fat cells. That's one way our body insulates us from them. So picture, how do you, uh, how do you get grease off your greasy Thanksgiving dinner plate? How do you get, you just run it under water? You add soap. Soap, that's what we add. What does the soap do? It makes friends with the water and with the grease, right? 
and then it pulls them off and you get a nice clean platter. The product Shape Reclaim has within it some detoxification aspects that go in to your body and latch onto toxins. And they make those toxins that are normally lodged in fat, they make them water soluble. They pull them out into your system, you drink water and it flushes them. And then you know what your body says in its wisdom? It says, ah, I can let go of the fat now, I don't have to protect this person from that toxin. I don't have to insulate them anymore. Does that make sense? Do we get that picture? Do I continue? Let's say you're on a bunch of medications. You're on 10 medications. This is a valid question. What do you do? Do you continue taking them? And the answer is yes. But what I'll tell you is that if you are on medications, poor blood pressure, poor diabetes, we watch that. We monitor it. Now, am I licensed to change your medication at all? No, I'm not. But you can be in contact with your medical doctor and let them know you're on a, on a program that you're, you're lowering your, uh, your intake of fat and so forth. And monitor your blood pressure, monitor your blood sugar numbers, and then alter your medicine as such because it will lower. And you don't want to be taking blood pressure medication if your blood pressure is already dropping. But that's a result we want, isn't it? I mean, that's what we're looking for. That's where we want to go. Okay, so again, just to recap, this is how we make, we, Tompkins Wellness Center, Jay, Katie, myself, this is how we make this your story, all right? We provide the shape reclaim that's doctor monitored, anti-inflammatory, reduced calorie, and immune enhancing, okay? And then this is how you, make it your story. Commitment. This isn't for everybody. I'm not going to promise that it is. Show up for your appointments, your urinalysis, get it done. And then you show up for you. There's a lot of us that don't show up for ourselves. <coughs> so, you can have a do-over. Do you believe that? Do you believe you can have a do-over? Yes, you're where you're at, you don't like where you're at, but you can do it over. And I'm talking not just to people who are overweight, like this gentleman, I'm talking to people who are sick. Okay. We need to realize that sickness comes from how we, to a large extent, how we eat. So you're the product of every health decision you've made until today. If you had it to do over again, would you do it differently? So, here's your do-over, folks. Starts with one simple step, starts tonight. Um, Katie and Jade are available now. Schedule your consult, and it's time for your do-over. And I want to thank you for coming. I need to leave for another appointment. Jade and Katie are going to do a little drawing for people, and then you're going to have the opportunity to sign up for your consult. I thank you all for coming. Thank you.